Boys and girls, hello, this is Father Mike, and I'm so happy, truly, to connect with you. It's not the same here without you and so many other hundreds of people at Jesus a Good Shepherd and Cardinal Hickey Academy. And I know this is such a, a boys and girls, a, a weird time, isn't it? Um, but we always have to remember we have to stay home and uh, of course you can't come to school yet. Um, and now your celebration of First Eucharist, First Holy Communion is also put off. And I feel so bad about that because I know I look forward to mine so much when I was about seven years old. But the good thing, boys and girls, is that we have uh, mass on, uh, on our uh, computers and so forth because we have virtual uh, mass from our beautiful chapel here at Jesus a Good Shepherd. And I just want to remind you that on 930 on Sundays is Sunday Mass, but even during the week. Have you ever thought of coming to Mass during the week? And daily Mass is at 8 o'clock, and it's now live streamed from our chapel. So that's a wonderful way to start your school day. And, um, and you will be one with Jesus and one with our uh, community. So I know that uh, like even adults, you're probably feeling sometimes either uh, worried or angry uh, or even lonely, uh, being stuck at home, being separated from your classmates and your friends. And boys and girls, uh, these are normal, normal reactions. But even now, you know, during this, we, we have to remember that uh, even our faith might get weak if we allow it to. And sometimes, you know, during this period, which we've never, I've never seen in my life, huh? We, we don't even want to pray or we don't want to pray more. But in fact, this is when we should be praying even more. And so I, I want to say maybe there's a few things um, we can all do to stay linked, to stay connected uh, to God. And first of all, boys and girls, always remember that God is in charge. God's always in charge. Uh, uh, and sometimes that might uh, baffle us or confuse us uh, because we say to ourselves, we, well, God's there, but then we have this bad germ, this virus, and uh, who wants a virus around that can hurt you know, millions of people? And boys and girls, we don't know why God lets things like this happen, but we do know, we do know, we do know that God loves us and he's always with us and reassuring us and he's always with us. And he's even with us, boys and girls, in this time of suffering huh? and, and, and pain. And God is always with us, both in good times and in suffering. Why? Because Jesus, his son, said so. So another way maybe we can, um, uh, some things we could do to stay connected with God, of course, not, not just pray every day. And there's so many ways we can pray. But I encourage you to pray with your brothers and your sisters and your moms and dads with your loved ones, your grandparents, either at home or do it over the phone. You know, we can pray that way too. Uh, maybe uh, you can think of helping others, such as, oh, making a card or sending a card. Um, here's something different. How about imagine you were uh, interviewing God? Wow, wouldn't that be awesome? And you ask God questions that either you or other people have have raised about this virus that's going around. And then ask yourself this question, how do you think God would answer those questions? Huh? And you might even be an inspiration. Another way to stay connected to God is you, you can lead others uh, to prayer. You can lead prayer prayers yourself for those in need and, and invite your family members to hold, not you can't hold hands, huh? But you can you can at least reach out at a distance, socially distanced from one another, 
and pray at home, okay? So, um, by the way, I'm talking to you uh, from uh, my uh, office here at Jesus the Good Shepherd. And thanks to Mrs. Grover, uh, who's, who's the camera person, I'd just like to show you a little bit of my office. So you can see probably behind me, uh, uh, everybody has some books. And, uh, but I have uh, on my bookcase uh, certain uh, nice photographs and mementos that um, I've been given over the years. So I have a, look, I have a baseball cap uh, with the letters J, G, S, uh, and someone from our community gave me that. Uh, I have a photograph of a young couple. Uh, the groom is from Jesus the Good Shepherd, and that's his wife, and I did their, their um, wedding three years ago this coming November, and I'm so happy to, to share with you that they just had their first child a few weeks ago. And then um, here's a favorite photograph of mine. It's from Fatima, Portugal. <laughs> Look for Portugal on your maps. And this is the place where Mary appeared to the three shepherd children in Fatima. And this, by the way, was back in 1917. It was 103 years ago. Now, up here on the top ledge, I want to introduce you to two of my <laughs> friends. And this, these are my two teddy bears, and they have names. And their names are Barnes and Noble. So Barnes and Noble uh, give me great comfort and hope. And then you'll see below, there's another picture there. That's Pope Francis washing the feet of people. And then uh, we also have people are always sending me cards. And uh, before we filmed, I cleaned up my office because I had about cards from here all the way down. And you could they blocked all my mementos. So you see handmade cards and um, I recently had a birthday, and I, and I had my birth. It was a, it was different because my birthday fell on the first Sunday. Uh, we didn't have mass, and there was nobody here, <laughs> but God was here. Jesus was here, so um, uh, I felt different, but I was still happy on my birthday. And then um, I want to show you a very special picture, and uh, this. Uh, your moms and dads will remember Pope John Paul II, and on the that he's there on the right, and then on the left that is me, and that was taken oh about uh, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, and I and I celebrated Mass, the morning Mass with Pope John Paul II, and it was such an honor, huh? And then I have more cards. Now I wanna show you something that's really cool because it's about the first Eucharist. And years ago, uh, a parishioner from Africa gave me this hand-carved Last Supper. And it's made out of ebony wood from Africa. And there's a lot of detail, but can you see Jesus and the 12 apostles? So Jesus is here. And remember, boys and girls, there was one friend of Jesus that betrayed him and betrayed his friendship. And his name is Judas. Well, you can't from the front tell where Judas is. But if you turn this around, there's Judas there. He's the only one in the back who's looking behind Jesus. And he's got his money bag of gold. He was more interested in that than following Jesus. And there's another interesting feature of this beautiful hand-carved Last Supper. And remember, boys and girls, on Holy Thursday, Jesus at the first Eucharist, 
he washed the feet of his disciples. Jesus got on his knees with a bucket and a, and a, a, a bucket of water and, and a pan, and he had the disciples to put their feet in the pan, and Jesus took this pitcher and washed their feet as a sign he was a servant to them. And, and we're called to imitate Jesus and be servants to help others. Huh? But look underneath, and you see here, and Mrs. Grover's gonna pull up and see all the hand-carved feet. And this is a reminder that at the Last Supper, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. So when we receive the Eucharist, it's not just between God and me, but my reception, my receiving of the Holy Eucharist is a remembrance, a reminder to me that I have to practice what Jesus did and wash the feet of those I love. Not, not literally. I don't want you to get a hand and uh, hand towels and soap tonight and start washing feet. But we're supposed to care for one another, okay? So isn't that beautiful? And um, it's one of my favorite little treasures. And then, uh, if we go further down, um, I have some more things, uh, a bell and uh, a little, uh, a little uh, clay figure and so forth. So I'd like to conclude, if I may, I have in my office a beautiful statue of Mary. You see Mary? And there's Jesus in her arms. And I always have a candle by Mary. Uh, and I'd like to conclude with sharing uh, with all of us uh, the names of our First Holy Communion class. And this includes, but we're one family here at Jesus, a good shepherd. We have our children from Cardinal Hickey Academy and also uh, our children from Jesus, a good shepherd. So congratulations. And just remember, your day will come for your first Eucharist. Ellis Bailey, Tyler Bergroff, Joseph Kukannon, Michael Kukannon, James Dammeyer, Abigail DiGitano, Addison Ernest, Michael Evans, William Forgen, Walker Glaib, Ethan Hayden, Rebecca Hall, William Handel, Emma Jackson, Nicholas Jessup, Sebastian Johnson, Desi Kissam, Kadai Kopinski, Nelson Nuru, Annie McQuaid, Declan McQuiggan, Morgan Medwig, Justin Millick, Jacob Muma, Nathan Obana, Obama, Obana, excuse me, his brother, uh, Matthew Obana, Violet Pearsall, Willa Peshek, Max Peterson, uh, the brother and sister team, Evan and Kate Milagan, uh, Ryan Russell, Meredith Schmidt, uh, Nathan Shugart, Dominic Scott, Blake Seeley, Grady Sickles, Camilla Suttle, uh, Lucas Tech, Layla Tellman, and Garrett Wayson. So congratulations to all of you. Um, and don't worry, it's going to happen, boys and girls, as soon as uh, the authorities uh, give us uh, permission. So, we, so between now and then, we just have to continue to pray for our families, uh, pray to God, and pray especially that God will guide uh, our scientists uh, to find uh, the right medicine to knock out the virus. Uh, and then we can enjoy life uh, little by little the way it was before all this started. So let us conclude by uh, praying together wherever you uh, and whenever you're watching uh, uh, my video, uh, pray together uh, for, for all of these intentions and it's Pope Francis invites us uh, to pray to Mary. Uh, Mary, who always stood by the son of her son, Jesus. And we pray that all of us will also pray by his side. So let us now say the Hail Mary uh, to uh, Mary and ask her to intercede for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, pray for us. Boys and girls, thank you so much uh, for joining me uh, with this video. And rest assured, you're very, very much in my prayers. Please keep me in your prayers. And I really need them too at this time. Thank you, and God bless you.